Welcome back to Flipping Pages, Stirring Sauces. Tawada <laughs> to all of you who liked, shared, and subscribed. I asked you to send my previous video, The Beast or the Most High, viral. And it was on its way there. Goliath ran into David, and Goliath didn't like what David had to say. And so Goliath took my video down. The truth hurts. So, I'm going to give it one more try. On December 8th, 2021, I received a letter from a fellow employee who, oh, by the way, the reason Goliath gave for taking my video down, Goliath claimed that I was spreading medical misinformation but all the information that I gave out came from the Kool-Aid makers themselves and came from information that was once available on the website of the Kool-Aid makers. So anyway, this letter is from a manager by the name of Gary West. And he is an Ontario hub section manager with Pure Later Inc., my employer. So, this is about my employer, the Kool-Aid, and my union. Teamsters. Oh, the Canada Council of Teamsters. So, on December 8th, I received this letter signed by Gary West, who is not an executive on the board of Pure Later, nor does he have the necessary paperwork to offer any advice or coerce or tell anyone to drink the Kool-Aid. So it reads, this letter is to remind you of your requirement under the Kool-Aid Safer Workplace Policy for all employees are to be fully Kool-Aid by December 31st, 2021. Our records indicate that you currently do not meet the requirements under our policy. This will be our final reminder to you of our policy requirement. On January 10, 2022, you will be found in violation of our policy requirement and you will be placed on an unpaid leave of absence until you meet the requirement. If you have any questions in relation to this matter, please raise them immediately or refer to the safer workplace policy. When this particular individual was violating my rights by putting me to work in an area that was unsafe, where I had two panic attacks and the ambulance had to be called. He didn't care about a safer workplace for me. He did not. When I was getting hit on my feet and in the knees, that were swollen and painful from work-related injuries. And I told him it was not safe for me to work in that environment because I was being, my, my injuries from work was being exacerbated by constantly being hit in the shin and in the knees by boxes that were flipping up from a conveyor belt. He didn't care. He didn't care about my rights. 
So where does he get off telling me about a safer workplace? Anyway, so because I refuse to drink the Kool-Aid along with some other co-workers, we showed up today at work to file our grievances. And what is that? We showed up to file our grievances and I got there at 3.45 and requested my union rep to come out so I could file my grievance because my ID and my entry card into work did not work. I was there until 4.33. Other people had showed up as well. I was waiting there until 4.33 when one of the managers by the name of Romel Khan, the operations manager, came out and asked if we wanted to speak to him. We told him we didn't want to speak to him. We wanted to speak to our union representative, anyone. We didn't care which one it was. So he said to us that, um, I quote, I will deliver a message to the shop steward. If they come out, they come out. So we said to him, what does that mean? He repeated himself. I will deliver a message to the shop steward. If they come out, they come out. And then he left. At 4.45, Ronald Robinson, the other operations manager who is above all the operations manager, came out to speak with us. And he stated that Rohan is not coming out. So we said to him, we don't care which shop steward we want a shop steward we want a union rep we don't care who it is he said that our union reps are refusing to come out and that we had to go to the union office to file our grievance by that time the union office was already closed and we've always been told that a grievance must be signed by a manager of Pure Later. So there wouldn't be a manager at the union office. And Pure Later had extra security there. But our union, the Canada, the Canada Council of Teamsters, Local 938 didn't have anybody there for us. Now, back in September, when they told us that they were expecting everybody to drink the Kool-Aid by a certain date, I provided Teamsters, the Canada Council of Teamsters, my union, and my employer, Pure Later Inc., with my liability notice advising them that in trying to force me to drink the Kool-Aid, they were violating my rights to person, my right to conscience, my rights of religious freedoms, and that they were violating my rights under the Geneva Convention, the Geneva Codes, the Nuremberg Codes, the United Nations Treaty, and the Canadian Charter of Rights. To date, I have not had the courtesy of a response from Pure Later Inc. in response to my liability notice, which was handled, delivered, emailed, and directed to the president and CEO of Pure Later. And it was also emailed 
to the every member of the executive board of my union, the Canada Council of Teamsters Local 938. To date, I have not had the courtesy of a response from Teamsters, yet they continue to take $60 out of my pay every month for union dues, but they don't do anything to represent us. As a matter of fact, the president of the union ran out of a meeting last month, I believe, and they have been very complacent and silent on this matter, but they continue to take our money. That is a theft. Um, so, Purelator has violated Article 4.01 of the Collective Agreement, which is strike or lockout. Article 5.03, discrimination. Article 10.012, disciplinary measures. And Article 20.05, leave of absence. So basically, effective January 10th, Pure Later has put us on unpaid leave of absence which is a violation of the collective agreement because leave of absences have to be initiated by the employee, not the employer. And Article 10.011 of the collective agreement indicates or state that if a matter is grieved, they must allow us to continue working until that grievance has been settled. So this is the reason they would not allow us to file our grievances, because they would have to allow us to work. Not allowing us to work is in violation of the collective agreement. So anyway, um, Ron Noel Robinson told us that we were trespassing and that um, he would call, I believe, the police if we didn't leave. And he behaved as though he was a god. So I said to him, oh, you're a god today. You are a god. But what I did not say to him was, it's short-lived we will see what is going to happen to you by the end of the month. Your godship is not going to last very long. Um, so anyway, as I said in my, um, my other video, when I was doing my video prior to the one that Goliath has taken down because the truth hurts. I referred to myself as David. All my life I thought that the D in my name stood for something else, but during that presentation it was revealed to me that the D in my name stands for David. And I've accepted that. And not only that, I had said that Goliath was about to meet David. And since I made that statement, I've heard that statement so many times from so many different sources. And I thought to myself, I don't have that many subscribers. Why is everybody else saying this? And then it was revealed to me that that message was not only given to me. It was given to all the Davids out there. And those of you 
who have been making that reference knows exactly what I'm talking about. In the video that Goliath chose to take down, um, I talked about the fact that melanated people, and not just melanated people, all the people who refuse to drink the Kool-Aid need to come together and start speaking with one voice and start moving as a single unit because the line has been drawn. When the morning shift yesterday went to file their grievances, the um, union reps was complaining, or the union rep was complaining that he didn't want to be in the presence of people who did not drink the Kool-Aid. And so the lines are clearly drawn. But a few months from now, they will be just like the people who have not had the Kool-Aid because they will be required to drink the Kool-Aid continuously. So that is what's happening right now. And the Kool-Aid is not doing a damn thing for them. Anyway, As I was saying, Israel is a people. And when the Europeans came to this part of the world, they bumped into Davids that look like me. And we know Solomon was Israel. And we know the Bible says that Solomon was black and comely. We know the Bible describes his locks. And we know that the character they refer to as Jesus, the Bible says, he had hair like wool and feet like burnished brass. He looked like me. And this entire earth was populated by people who looked like who looked like me. And when the Europeans came, they wanted our land. And they went to Africa with a slave ship called Jesus of Lubeck. And they told the people if they got on this slave ship, they would be saved. And when the people got on this slave ship, they were taken into captivity. And that slave ship was taken to America and the Caribbean. And those people that they stole from Africa was allowed to become entwined, entangled with the people who looks like me, people who looked like me, who were already living in the Americas and the Caribbean. And after a few generations, they started referring to everybody as African slaves, including the natives who were already there who look like me. And this was done in order to take their land because if they were from Africa, 
they couldn't make any claims to the land here on this side of the world. And so they became African Americans who had no claim, no rights to land. And that's where your Thanksgiving celebration comes from. It comes from them celebrating stealing our land. And a lot of black people are running out on Black Friday to make purchases. Black Friday is the day they sold their ancestors for cheap. So that's where Black Friday comes from. And like I said before, every single one of those religions come out of the Roman Catholic Church. And the Pope is the head of the synagogue of Satan because the Roman Catholic Church is the synagogue of Satan. So whether you call yourself a Catholic, a Protestant, a Pentecostal, a Seventh-day Adventist, whatever you call yourself, if you're worshipping anything other than the Most High, the Creator, the Ancient of Days, Hawa, Hawa, the Giver of Breath, you're worshipping an idol. YouTube is probably going to be ticked off at me again. <laughs> what excuse are they going to use this time? So anyway, you're worshipping a false god. And the creator is willing to forgive. And he said he will treat people the way they treat Israel. <coughs> Pardon me. So if you follow his laws, statutes, and commandments, he is just and willing to forgive you because that is the nature of the Creator. But the Creator is not into the mixing of beings. The Creator has told us that we are not supposed to mix. And when the angels took wives of the daughters of men, their punishment was severe. The Creator ordered that the ringleader be put in a dark place and covered up. And he refused to listen to any intercessions that were made on their behalf. No intercession for them or their sons. So the Creator is very much against humans mixing with other species. And that is evident by the severe punishment that that individual and the rest of them received. Even when they asked, there was no forgiveness for them. Because I do believe they asked someone or something to intercede for them. And it didn't happen. And I just want to put that in there. Um, I think you get my drift about drinking the Kool-Aid. What else did I want to say? But anyway, Ronald Robinson, 
2nd Idris 15. I have to put that on your head. I definitely have to put 2nd Idris 15 on your head, Ronald Robinson. We're powerful. Our words have power. The Creator has given us swords and we need to use them. And melanated people, black people, stop killing each other. Do not give the 1% access to our bodily fluids. They feast upon it. They draw strength from it. Our bodily fluids are very powerful and we shouldn't be making it easy for them to get access to our bodily fluids. I invoke Second Edras 15 upon the head of Ronald Robinson and us, the Davids, shall go steadfastly unto Babylon and make her afraid. They shall come to her and beseech her, and the star and all wrath shall they pour out upon her. Then shall the dust and smoke go up unto the heaven, and all they that be about her shall bewail her. And they that remain under her shall do service unto them that have put her in fear. And thou, Asia, that are partaker of the hope of Babylon, and art the glory of her person, Woe be unto thee, thou wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her, and hast decked thy daughters in whoredom, that they might please and glory in thy lovers, which have always desired to commit whoredom with thee. Thou hast followed her that is hated in all her works and inventions. Therefore say it. Yahawa, Awa, Ahaya, the Ancient of Days, Awa, the Giver of Breath, the Most High, the Creator. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence, to waste thy houses with destruction and death. And the glory of the power shall be dried up as a flower. The heat shall arise that is set over thee. Thou shalt be weakened as a poor woman with stripes and as one chastised with wounds so that the mighty and lovers shall not be able to receive thee. The other thing I wanted to say about this union they represent people all over this country and all over the United States. And if they're doing this, if they're sitting back and not doing anything and allowing these employers to get away with what they're trying to do, then people, we need to get in touch, connect with each other all over this country and say no. When we say no to this 1%, they don't know what to do. And the other thing is, they have to tell us the truth. They mix the truth in with the lies, but they have to tell us the truth. And so you have to sift through the lies to get to the truth. 
Look around you. Look around you. Use your common sense. Look in your own community. See if what is happening in your community is jiving with what the 1% is pushing. Use the gray matter between your ears that the Creator gave to you. Don't be anybody's fool. The Creator said, Two thirds of us will perish for lack of knowledge. The Creator also said that unless we bear the mark of the beast, we will not be able to buy and sell. Think about that and look at what's going on. We are living revelations. Put your trust in the Creator, not in man. Step towards Him. I am at peace with myself. I am at peace with my world. And I am at peace with my life. You will not only meet this David, you're about to meet many Davids. I wish you Baruch and Shalom.